This is Mark Friedman, your expert in the uh, French language, reporting live from the food court here in Allentown. And welcome to another edition of French, one phrase at a time. Now, uh, I believe uh, learning a uh, foreign language can be uh, overwhelming, but not if you follow my approach and just worry about one phrase at a time. And uh, nobody can be overwhelmed by a single phrase. And that's the advantage we have here on YouTube and the YouTube platform, is we can we have the uh, luxury of uh, worrying about one phrase at a time, and uh, you can take as long as you need to learn it. Whereas in college, you got to go a certain uh, cover a certain amount of material, material in a certain amount of time, and uh, you couldn't go to a a, a lecture or uh, a class and only have one phrase covered. So uh, it's not uh, feasible with that. Uh, in that situation, but we, we have the luxury of being able to do our one phrase at a time here, so it's much uh, less intimidating. So let's uh, do uh, go over today's phrase, very common phrase that we use a lot, uh, we hear people saying a lot. I couldn't, uh, well, okay, so I'm going to avoid these, you know, phrases you hear a million times in language courses that are absolutely worthless. Where is the train station? Where's the bathroom? Where's the post office? Who wants to learn that crap? You want to learn something that's actually a part of an actual conversation. Sounds like you're really learning to speak what the people speak. But anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, today's phrase is Nous n'avons rien en commun. Now, don't take your time with it. We'll see if we can make Google say it. Oh, Google's uh, silent today. Let's turn Google up. Oh, it was turned down. Let's see how Google says it. Now, it doesn't matter if Google says it or I say it. Actually, I say it more naturally because I'm not a computer. But the, the fact is, folks, believe it or not, I actually uh, have um, managed to perfect the French accent, which I did uh, years and years ago. So it's actually speak it exactly as a native would speak it. So you have uh, that advantage with me as a uh, as a teacher. But it's, nous n'avons rien, nous n'avons rien en commun. Nous n'avons rien en commun. Nous, nous n'avons, nous n'avons rien en commun. We have nothing in common. Nous n'avons rien en commun. Nous n'avons rien en commun. Now, this is what I want you to do. Students have the, uh, despite the way I'm pronouncing it, I'm pronouncing it exactly correct. They have the habit of uh, looking at it and pronouncing what they would think uh, it's uh, how it's pronounced based on uh, the English. Uh, if these words were English, but we're not looking at English words, we're looking at French words. So they might, uh, in English, uh, they were pronouncing these same letters in English, nous n'avons rien en commun, or something, whatever. You, you get my point. Listen to the way I'm saying it, and don't translate it, don't try to uh, come up with your own pronunciation based on what you, what you think it should be, based on what you're seeing. Listen to me and repeat exactly as I'm saying it, exactly as I'm pronouncing it. Nous n'avons rien en commun. Nous n'avons rien en commun. And uh, we'll be back for another lesson uh, very soon, folks.